Dad moved here in um, 1947 with eight children then. Dad would have had probably 30 cows, milking cows, and some sheep. And then he would have grown vegetables to send to market. And Mother, bless her, would have a big flock of hens. So when I left school, there would still have been two shire horses here. Major and Boxer, they were called. They would have just been used to harrow in grass seeds and things like that. My last memory of Major, he actually died in the, the stable here. But, you know, that stable shows you how um, many horses are wearing gear, because that was built in 1914. And it was built for ten shire horses and a room for mare and fall. And this end was the mill house, which was driven by a little steam engine. One of the worst jobs I remember having to do with a horse when you were younger would be harvesting hay. And you had a what we call a hay pole and a grab to take it up to the rick. So the, the hay pole was powered by the horse. And the youngest boy had to be in charge of the horse. I remember one day, I went forward too far and the wire rope broke. So I had to climb a hay pole, which was probably 40 foot high, with the wire rope in my bell of my trousers and feed it through the top and bring it down again. <laughs> yeah, but that was one of the jobs that you had to do with the horses when they were sort of almost getting retired. So you actually had a tractor with a hay sweep on it, bringing the hay in to the rick. And then there's still the older type of farming with a horse, hoisting it up to the top of the rick. When my brother Tom was probably about six years old, we had a sweep on the front of a standard forts and tractor, and Tom wasn't big enough to work the clutch or change the gears, but he could steer. When Tom was coming in with a load, one of my older brothers would run, catch a tractor up, jump on, and he would drive forward into the rick, reverse back, and set Tom on the road to get another load, but he jumped off and then helped to hoist it up. I always remember, um, I think it was about 1955, we had a little T-20 <coughs> tractor, which was my pride and joy, with a little two-furrow plow. And if you see on the old settlement field, it's almost perfectly round. Well, my dad had the idea of seeing if the tractor could plow the field on its own. So we went around and plowed one or two little corners, and then we tied the steering wheel to the side of the furrow, and then the tractor went around and plowed it on its own. Somewhere deep in the archives, there's a picture of my younger brother sitting on the steering wheel, his feet on the seat, with his homework on his knees going around backwards, doing his homework as the tractor went around.